Hello, welcome to Q Basic Programming Lessons. So now we are in the third lesson of this tutorial for learning QBase. I'm Shaji from DPS Indonesia. If you have some queries, any trouble in installing QBase, or something else related to QBase programming, please feel free to write to me. My email ID is given here. We will start writing some programs. First, we will see the program for subtraction. How to do subtraction of one number from another. So here the program is given. The line number 10 is the remark statement. In the remark statement, after rem command, you can give whatever you want to give. Interpreter is not going to do anything with it. Line number 20, we are assigning a value 135 to the variable num1. Similarly, at line number 30, we are assigning 100 to num2. And 40th statement, we are finding the answer that is subtracted value ans equal to num1 minus num2. The difference is taken and it is stored in ans and. At the last, line number 50, we are just printing the answer. That's it. Assign the values. Find the difference, print the answer. That's all. And similarly, how to do a program for multiplication? We can do the same procedure here as well. You assign one value to num1. Here I have assigned the same number 135 as in the previous example. num2 assign a value 100 and product equal to num1 into num2. We are using this symbol, star symbol for multiplication, not into. There is no symbol into. We have only x symbol, that's a variable, that's a character, we cannot use it for multiplication. In any computer language for multiplication, star, asterisk, that is a symbol. And the value, the answer will be stored in the variable product, then print the product. And finally, end the program. Now how to add three numbers? Procedure is the same. Assign the value 135 or whatever you want to store to number 1. That is num1, variable num1. And second value store to num2. I am storing 100 to num2. And store the third value to num3. Then calculate the answer. An is equal to num1 plus num2 plus num3. So when you add all the variables, you will be getting the answer. Just print the answer and end the program. Now we can do something else. We can print some text. In this program, I am printing my name and address. What we have to do? We can give some remark. Whatever be the term, it's only for our understanding. But you give some meaningful remark in your program so that the name the remark itself will say what is the program is supposed to do. This program is supposed to print my name and address. What you have to do is you print your name and address. You just give print commands for each line and you say what you have to print. Here one thing you have to notice is that you have to give the values to be printed within quotation. I mean within double quotation. If you are giving some values like this, this kind of values are string values. These are all not variables. These are all string values. So you can give the statement one after another line and you can end the program. The same program which we have done in the previous video can be done in another way as well. Let us see how it can be done. You can store the values, the name, address, pin code, street, email id, etc. into some variables. Here you have noticed that in the variable names at the end there is a dollar sign. We have to use this dollar sign for string variables. String variable means a variable which is used to store some string value or a text. That means dot the numbers. String variables are supposed to store only string values not the numbers or the numerical values. 
So you can have one string variable for name, another for address 1, address 2, address 3, address 4. You can have all these things like this. You can assign the values to these string variables and finally you can give print. What you have to print? You print all the variables. A1 dollar, A2 dollar, A3 dollar, A4 dollar. But here in this program, the name will not be printed. What you have to do if, if you want to print the name also? And comma separation between all these variables. Instead of comma, if you put semicolon, what will happen? That you have to test. Use semicolon instead of this comma symbols here. Test it. What will happen if you give semicolons instead of commas in line number 60? And one thing more I need. Here, the answer will be printed in a single line. If you want the answers to be printed in separate lines, what do you have to do? Try it out and find it. Here I have given the same program. Instead of comma, I have used semicolons here. Here also name is not printed. You make it the program, change the program so that the name also will be printed. Here you have some questions for this video. What is a numerical variable? What is a string variable? Write the examples of numerical and string variables. What is the use of the character, comma and semicolon in basic while printing? Write a program to add 5 numbers. You have to write a program for it. Write a program to find the average of 10 numbers. Write a program to find the square of a number. Write a program to find the cube of a number. Write a program to print your name. Write a program to print Happy Diwali. Write the shortcut to run a basic program. These are all the questions for this video. Please do it. If you still haven't installed QBasic in your system, please follow this video, the link which is given. Follow it, download it, install it and start using it. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.